name is Thomas Paris. I'm the head of growth at Hopier. So Hopier is the one-stop shop for office supply and office snacks. So we're in the middle of um, a SaaS business and an e-commerce business. I want to show you now how to generate customers at scale using an outbound automated flow. So the first thing that you need to know is, of course, who is my ideal customer and where can I find them? So for us, for Hopier, we know that our main competitor is uh, Snack Nation in the US and we can be much better than them at one thing is um, being able to customize your box. So every time we have a Snack Nation customer coming to us, and we tell them, hey, with us, you can customize your box of snacks. They're really happy about it. So now it's like, okay, where can I find the Snack Nation customers? And you know, how should I pitch to them that differentiation? What we did is we went and tried to, um, to get into the Facebook group. So we looked at the Facebook group of Snack Nation and we asked to get in and they, uh, they actually let us in, which is kind of a mistake, but uh, that's another story. So they have about 5,000 members. So you can, of course, manually scrape all this, uh, all this data. But what we did is we used a tool called scrapestorm.com that, uh, that allowed us to scrape all this data in a nice uh, Google Sheet. Now with that tool, you're only able to get first name and last name. So the next thing that I did is um, I went to Upwork and I hired a freelancer to actually go to uh, each profile of each person in that list and trying to enrich that database with things like where they work, so company name, um, job title, so any information that they would find were relevant and also going on on LinkedIn. So you can um, you can if you have like the first name, last name, and company name, you can easily do that at scale with a tool like uh, em Email Hunter um, or, or or Clearbit. But the thing is, with if you scrape a Facebook group, you only have first name and last name. So I had to hire somebody to manually go and check every every Facebook and LinkedIn profile to enrich that database. Now, so uh, once I did that, I had a list of about 2,000 relevant qualified leads because these are people who are customer of my main competitor and I know exactly what I should tell them to convince them to join us. Now it's about how can I reach them in a personalized yet scalable way to, to uh, attract them and convince them uh, again in a, in a scalable way. For that, I use the tool called Advance. So it's, the tool is called Lagros Machine and it's basically the advanced lead generation uh, template. So it's a pre pretty powerful tool when it comes to outbound sales because it's basically cross-channel outbound, meaning you um, it's an automated flow that will, yeah, where, where the triggers um, can play an, an important role in terms of if the person replies to, uh, to an email, for example, then triggers something so that the LinkedIn message is different than if the person has not replied to an email. So, here is the flow that we created and it's pretty advanced as you can see and it's it starts with first of all going to the linkedin profile and just visiting the the profile and enriching if we missed any data favoriting the last tweet following the person um, and so the first thing that we do here is we basically don't try to reach out to the person directly, but you know we just ping the person on, on, on Twitter and on LinkedIn so that when they get a first message, then, uh, then they, they kind of already know who we are. 
So I'm not going to go through the entire flow. I'm more than, than happy to discuss it. But basically what a tool does is it can automatically send a LinkedIn message, again, with variables such as first name or company name or any other variable that you had in your Google Sheet. I, um, I do advise to, for example, have, if you can, uh, some information about the last LinkedIn post so that you can, you can customize your messages based on what they shared recently on LinkedIn. Uh, you can have webhook so that once you have more data, you can enrich that, uh, that, that information. You can send it to your, to your CRM uh, system, for example. And so what it does is it follows like a, a process where, for example, here, if the person, the lead, accepts the LinkedIn request. Then again, we visit and and enrich. But we send we send the first message, so like the, the personalized note. And based on what the person does or does not do, meaning if the person reply or does not reply, then we send a different follow up message. Okay, so the first message was not really pushy in terms of uh, of selling, just. Um, uh, saying hi, and we send like a first blog post to to uh, to uh, to add value without asking anything in return. But then the second message was a, a bit more into like the sales pitch, um, and you can see that basically the conversion happens if the person replies because then it's a manual process and it should be handed over to sales. But if the person does not reply then we basically keep on sending messages either through email marketing or through LinkedIn until the person reply, replies. And so I put together a flow where there are five steps, either through LinkedIn or through email marketing. And if after five messages, the person does not reply, then of course you should stop um, otherwise it looks really too, too pushy and, and, and too spammy. So if you guys want to have more information about it, you can ask me, you can have a look at that tool, but, uh, after doing, you know, years of outbound, it's one of the most powerful tools that I've ever used. And, um, it's getting us like four, four T qualified, um, MQLs. So people who actually sign up and who are very, very qualified for us a week. So that's about 160 um, very qualified MQLs a month without doing much. So now that um, this is set up and it works and it's running, we, of course, we should optimize and look at, at, uh, at data to understand what should be done better, but it kind of runs on autopilot. So that's pretty cool. All right, so hope it was useful and I'm here if you have any questions.